Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the Basement Yard Patreon. Today we have some guests. We're not recording in the studio, obviously, but we have... A little diffy diff. Yeah, we have the Shits and Gigs podcast. We have James and Fuhad. Everyone's been asking for this collab, so we appreciate you guys uh, making the trip all the way over here just to do it. Cross your pond, you're doing it. You fly over. They flew... You're welcome. Is it's that gonna like be, no. it's gonna be a lot of that yeah, going? Yeah, on. I can <laughs> tell. I can tell. Like, let it. You roll your eyes. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 they flew in this morning. They're leaving tonight. They uh, came here just for this, and uh, that's just what it is. Uh, yeah, big business show flew you guys out on his private. That jet, was right? super yeah. generous, by the way. Thank yeah. you, by the way. Uh, no problem. Just Love the private chef in there as it's well. Coming out of it's a amazing. Frank's tab, so it's so totally it's fine. Well, thank you, man. Don't worry, my kids won't eat for a month. That was your decision. What? That was your decision. Yeah. Don't you two? <laughs> just saying. Listen, is baby food like expensive? I don't imagine that it is. Uh, it's just mashed it's, up. It's not not expensive. I mean, you you have multiple nieces and nephews. You can. I don't ask. feed them. Wow. wow. Do you see this? Right? Why would I feed you them? See, why Whoa. would you feed your loving caring Wait, uncle? Wait, have you changed a diaper in your life? Uh huh. Sure oh have. shit! Let's that go, baby. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, right, right. <laughs> Whose diaper? It. Fuhad's. Yes, oh, actually. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Would you change his diaper if he if he like diaper? just lost feeling? Waist down? If I was a paraplegic? No, you no, you yeah, you still yeah. have feel because that's when it's kind of like not emotional. Oh, you like you need to help, but like honestly, I didn't even think about that. You just what, thought if he reverts, people like who are like paralyzed, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just happens. Well, they have like catheters and stuff, so they kind of. Mm. Uh, oh. Okay. Colostomy bags, I think they have. Mm. So like, there's less of a mess. Oh yeah, yeah. makes sense. I feel like I should Would have I known change that. your nap? We call it nappies. Well, you change nappies, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like just the once, or just like regularly. After every time you record, it's like, dude, <sighs> daddy did a boom boom. <laughs> daddy, I did a boom boom. <laughs> daddy did a boom boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I would, but I would also like, bro, abuse him physically. Oh. Pause. What? <laughs> yeah, like I'll change your. I would like depending on your your mood. That's yeah. a crazy. Like if you take the piss out of me, if I'm doing it, and I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Oh, and he's just yeah. being. And you're just like, it? yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you yeah. just give him like a get, yeah, dip get, test. Get in there. Then I would do little things to like. I'd probably like flick you on the head and like. What head? Oh, whoa! God, well, you're yeah, changing his diaper. That, come on, inappropriate. Come on, bro. Honestly, he's he's dis- Come oh, on, man. Yeah, we're talking that's, that's that's it. Would you change up. his diaper? If I had a hazmat suit, yeah. I'd do a it. hazmat suit? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Gloves? Yeah, I would. Scrubbing like a doctor? Oh, I, my I God. Think, I don't know why I asked. I don't want to think about it. Like, what if I said to you, I swear to God I'm not doing this podcast anymore if you don't do it properly? Like, no hazmat. <laughs> do it pro- Wait. That, he could do it properly with a hazmat nah, suit. No, no, no. Nah, I need now to, it feels like You're making me feel like a science project, and I don't like it. Yeah, I got to So you want just agree. a raw yeah, Treat me like a human agree. being. Exactly. And do it. Exactly. I, I am treating like a human being, but my sanity is also part and parcel <laughs> yeah, that's, that's of this priority. transaction. That's what I'm saying. I, see what I'm saying? I, don't, I don't know if that's as valuable as my guy shitting his pants, you know? like. I, I, don't get me wrong. That's why I'm helping him out doing it on a daily basis. At the end of the day, he made a mistake by shitting his pants. He did the boom boom. Exactly. So, I mean... Is that what you call it in your house? No, boom, boom. no, we don't. Why do you, do you keep saying it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where's it coming from? We call it in my house. We just call it crap. So like, <laughs> like my daughter will come up to me. She's like, "Daddy, I crapped." She is oh, not she say doesn't. that. Doesn't. I wish that'd be so sick. <laughs> oh, I thought that was real. That would be so so sick. Your daughter's like, "Yo, I shit." Yeah, <laughs> I shit it on myself. <laughs> my <laughs> That's mine. She got a cigarette in her hand. She's like, "I just fucking shit." <laughs> <laughs> Get to it, bro. <laughs> it's like ill. Fucking fuck? it. Uh, so, I mean, this was, we at, we talked before the camera started rolling and you guys, this is your first time in New York. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Give me the, like, what do you think so far? It's, dude. Um, one thing I've noticed about. I thought that was like I was like, yeah. I was like, damn. It's, it's right. dude. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, nah, like, <laughs> an agreement on all the You're like, yeah, it is. I'm going to start saying that. One thing I'll say is your homeless aren't very gentlemanly. Like, what oh, the fuck? They, they, they have a monocle yeah. and top hat by you guys? It's like, please, sir. <laughs> yeah, they literally do, dude. They have a hat there. They and, do have a fucking hat, though. And they go, they go like yeah. this. <laughs> Would you open up your mind, you know? This <laughs> <laughs> is shit. It's like Oliver Twist. It's like, please, sir, would like another shilling. <laughs> yeah, bro. They, oh they're like God. very humble and quiet. And then 
you like if you ignore them they're like god bless you i'm yeah. so sorry really? to, to yeah. oh, shit. your guys are just like Bro. singing they're and abrasive. screaming yeah. Yeah. and then they're performing just, like, acts everything like, yeah, oh, yeah. their Crazy. bare foot is in your face Bro. shitting on the floor yeah Public they take places, shits on the yeah. floor oh, and stuff i mean where are you gonna shit you know what well, in your own their house. pants <laughs> but then they don't have each other it's exactly that's go. the thing that's Did you, have up. you guys rode the subway no nope good don't never why the subway's not that bad um when was the last time you rode the subway uh, I can guarantee I've been living in another state for years, but I can guarantee I've been on the subway sooner than you have. You didn't answer his question. Incorrect. Yeah. I would say, Again, honestly, you honestly, didn't answer his question. 2020, 2019. That's a long time Four ago. Four years yeah. ago. Yeah. I haven't lived in the state for five years. He's doing that thing again. He's doing that thing again. The one right over. Don't, 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 you're pointing at me. Don't point the finger at me. Why you What about you? When was the last time you rode the subway? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. See? I told you. I'll tell you what, though. Speaking of the homeless people on the subway, hello. Uh, there was one time there was a lady who was like, you remember the lady under the train? Yeah. She, under the train? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, the, huh? train, got some that the train's elevated. <laughs> She's not, like, living in the sewer. Okay. Yeah. Although she did, she did. What she smelled like the sewer. She did. But, like, and it's okay to say that because she's not actually homeless. I think she just likes, she's, like, appropriating homeless culture. Yeah, my understanding, like, I think, yeah, I think she has, like, it was, like a she has a house money. She, yeah, but there was one time that I was, we were going to the city, so we were taking the subway, and, uh, she was like, hey, have a good time. And I was like, oh, thanks. And I just kept walking. And she goes, no. And I turned around. I was like, what? And she goes, have a good time or I'm going to fuck you up. Whoa. So I turned around to my friends. I was like, yeah, we better have fucking fun. <laughs> I was like, because when, when we get back, this bitch is going to kill me. The first drink was in honor of the cat woman underneath the fucking train. Jesus. Yeah. But she's a good lady, though. She's got her problems. Are you? Did you like purposefully avoid the subway? Hundred mm -hmm. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Megan asked us, "Do you want to take the yeah, subway?" Yeah, she said, "Do you we want to take the subway?" And simultaneously, we're like, obviously said not. no. No. Yeah, no. So what? You just hopped in an Uber, which is somehow way worse than getting on the subway to me. Definitely. Yeah. Really? What? Yeah. Why? Why? The traffic is misery. Oh, dude, um, I'll take the traffic. I'd rather take the traffic. To be fair, our Ubers have been real short since yeah. we've been here. Like five minutes, ten yeah. minutes. Oh, that's Fifteen max. Yeah, yeah, it's not pretty chill. You just walk at that point. We went on a nice walk yesterday. Yeah, it was cool. You hold hands. We skipped. We skipped right. across. The oh, I saw that on your yeah. Instagram story. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Do you guys do Dude, that? Dude, I, I haven't, tried so I haven't hard. skipped in to, years. But you've tried so hard to skip or try so hard to get him to skip with you? Mm-hmm. But you skip? Answer the question. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, you, do you skip? Like, you skip? Dude, I can I can crush a skip. I ha You know why I had to be good at skipping? Because I don't know if you guys were like this, but someone in this room was Mr. fucking gym class hero growing up. I'm not going to point fingers, but like... Definitely him. Okay. And, and during like our- What do you like, mean by gym class hero? During like our- You were- Bro, our gym teacher was like <laughs> so hype and horny for you, dude. It was like- <laughs> when, when they needed to like figure out like how to shoot a basketball, it was like, Joey, come here. And Joey was always like- But we would have field day, which was like, oh, it was like a relay race, you know, mm. blah, 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 blah. And I was never the fastest, but I was a great skipper. I was a great <laughs> skipper, and he was, like, taking off, like, you know, running, like, you know, like, these running hands and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I had to get good at it. It was out of necessity. Wait, what, so did you in, your in your field days, we call it sports days. Yeah. There was a competition. That makes way more sense. Yeah, sports skip? day. Oh, 100%. No, they had, like, a bunch of different things. So there was, like, the softball throw, a regular, like, a relay race. Mm. Then there was, like, a three-legged race. There was a skipping thing. Because mm -hmm. it's, like, from the ages of, I think it's first grade to fifth grade. It's like that's when I was just like hopscotch and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like. And you were really good at skipping. Yeah. Did you it. get a, a blue ribbon? Everyone got a blue ribbon because it was the no. participation. No. Which one was the participation? <laughs> I don't know, but the blue was first place. Whatever it was, I got it. I nice. was a good skipper. Good for well you, played, dude. Bro. That's you know. crazy. But yeah, we skipped. We skipped yesterday. Mm. That was fun. That was fun. Um, is it like riding a bike? Because I haven't done it in years, and I'm worried. That it did feel kind of natural. It, it was. It was very simultaneous. Landed <laughs> oh, on the same yeah, foot. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. 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 We oh, also you guys did skipping in unison. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. Unplanned. <laughs> it was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah it unplanned. was unplanned. That's unplanned unison. Nice. Unplanned. We're simpatico sometimes. That's insane. I have to say, so we've never been to Europe. Well, I shouldn't say Europe. You've been to Europe. I've never been to Europe, but like UK, London. I, we often, our thing is like, we just kind of assume things and <laughs> we that. believe them to be true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that we're talking about skipping, I assume there's a lot of skipping going on in like London. Like that's how people <laughs> get from like one flat to another, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like they're just like, like they can't like, it's like, they can't walk. So they got to go like gingerly. So they skip their way. How accurate am I? <clears throat> Entirely inaccurate. Yeah, that sounds um, right. Yeah. London's pretty brutal, man. You guys are much more like fairyish here. Yeah. Everyone's like super polite. Ooh, what was that? Like, yeah, like 
I've noticed that's a very clean way of yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, everyone's really, really well mannered here, aren't they? And uh, what, you know what I've noticed? Everyone says what? you're welcome. We don't say that. Like mm, if someone opens, if someone cheers. holds, if you hold, if I hold the door, we say cheers. But yeah, cheers. if someone holds the door, you say thanks, and then the other bird goes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just. Mm. It's I don't a really dry throw, British wit, man. I don't yeah. really throw your welcomes out there too often. I only, I only say you're welcome if I'm trying to be a fucking asshole. Like, oh, you're welcome. Yeah, they didn't like, say thanks. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if there's no thank you when yeah, there should have yeah, yeah. been a thank you, I'm like, okay, you're welcome. Yeah. Fucking oh, Jesus. Nice. <laughs> you know, yeah. but I don't. If someone says thank you, I'm not like, oh, you're welcome. Wait, that's interesting that you say that. So you just ignore them? No, I, I just. Yeah, no, gesture. That's, that's what I, we I kind of okay. just like, you know, like my eyebrow goes up or something. I don't know. You give the nod, like the. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, cool. That, I threw a thumbs up at a guy the other day, oh, and I was Jesus. like, what? Oh, I'm a big I thumbs literally upper. turned around, and I was like, what am I doing? I'm a big thumbs upper. In the car, you gotta do it. This, this means everything in the car. That's yeah, when I did it. Thank you, stop, go, yeah. go ahead, you know, like, everything. Bro. Mine is this steering wheel, just two fingers, just. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty, yeah. While cool. you're yeah. still on it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I did one a pinky one the other day. And <laughs> you I felt never humiliated. Pinky? Yeah, yeah, What do you, what do you do? Someone let me go, and they gave me an hour. And if I've that was in the I've other car, that would just crash pinkies. into you. I'd be like, Pinky, the fuck? What are <laughs> you like trying to say? It's like a thing. I remember in elementary school, they'd be like, oh, that's the Chinese middle finger. Middle finger. The Don't pinky. do that. Yeah. You know? So like, you're like inadvertently just like flipping people yeah. off. Damn, is that just an American thing? I, They're I, like, yo, this is the Chinese middle finger. You ever hear that? The pinky is the Chinese middle finger. Yeah, yeah. dude. Is it actually? Or is that <laughs> still oh, a rumor? Probably not. I have no probably no idea. Damn. But I'm gonna believe it's true. Yeah, because mm. we have no desire to look up the accuracy. Not of it. really. Fair enough. That's, you know? what, that's kind of what it's we the American do. way. Yeah, yeah. Just maybe. say things. And you live in your own bubble. Them. Yeah, say less. That's, that's right. It. But live in your bubble. Yeah. Back to what you were saying. That's that's interesting because a lot of people think New York is New Yorkers are like super fucking abrasive. Like I don't know if you saw like they're like. The, like gift shops sell shirts that are like fuck you you fucking fuck you know and like the pe Damn. there's this idea that like New Yorkers are like yo like I'm walking here you know yeah, and I'm walking here I always, so I always, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always tell so people like New Yorkers are not like abrasive they're just always on the way to the most Busy. important thing ever yeah. that's what London's like though yeah London, right. London yeah it's very very fast paced and yeah there's not a lot of common courtesy in London especially really? like central London because yeah it's so compact like New York <clears throat> and everyone's busy so yeah. Like get the fuck out my way, you know. When I'm walking. Yeah, man. Yeah, but we don't really talk about it, do we? No. I can't imagine someone saying, "I'm walking here." No. <laughs> I'm yeah. walking here. So I can I'm see like, that. The fuck. I can see you're walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that they 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 have like a substitute, so they can just be like, "Oh, we yeah, uh, no, that mm -hmm. was sounding like a pirate." The fuck was that? Well, who, who do you think were pirates, dude? The British, man. Were they? I'm pretty sure. Were they? Maybe. The Spanish. Spanish, definitely. Yeah. Portuguese props. Yeah, your people, dude. He went to Portugal recently, so now they're <laughs> not. Suddenly, those so are your people. people. Now they're definitely not Portuguese, so I don't know what you're talking about. Your people, dude. So um, Joey often talks about like Here we go. How... This is made up. <laughs> okay. Whatever you're about to say is made up. Oh, I was going to say how much he respects you guys. Oh, now, and... now he's oh, making this up. Oh, wow. <laughs> what oh, were you going to say? No, so you gonna... don't? We, no. we like, we joke. <laughs> <laughs> he's done it. We always like joke about and saying like, like the British are dumb and like first of all no we don't we've said that before no here's what happens on the show <laughs> you say shit and then I'm sitting across from you and I get blamed for shit it's true it because <laughs> and this all started because it's just out of spite because there was one time we talked about the royal wedding and my god mm. the people in England let us have it that day yeah, they, they were, were not what did happy. you say about the yeah, royal wedding we were wedding? just like this is kind of <laughs> what the fuck you're did you <laughs> say bro what the fuck exactly did you say about the royal wedding I don't really remember. Stop, shit. What the yeah. fuck did you say? No, I'm joking. But I think that we were just kind of like, this is such a huge thing. And like, well, I, who why? are these people? I think we were saying like, why? Yeah, mm. we were like, why is everyone going? Like, there's like a whole event. There's a bunch of people there. And then there's like, they fly celebrities out to do like commentating. They're commentating on like, and they have to get like, crazy. they got to get like trained in order to like walk a certain way and talk a certain way. And like, how do you guys feel about the royal family? Oh, we don't give a we shit. We don't care. Oh, yeah, no. we couldn't Personally, care less. Personally, couldn't care less. I noticed as well, with the, <clears throat> it's the same when the Queen had a Jubilee as well. Mm. Believe it or not, most of the people there are like Americans. Americans actually care more about the royal family yeah. than we do. Honestly, that makes so much fucking sense. Oh my sense, God, that's dude. why I hate Whenever our Whenever they're like interviewing people on the street for the royal wedding and all that, they're always American. They're never English. <laughs> Unless it's like a really, really old lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Who's dressed like in a Sunday Either a really old lady or like a 45-year-old African man in a kitted out, Jubilee outfit, yeah, like yeah. The, the blue, yeah, white, yeah. like cross hatch, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hat, the loves works. the queen. 
loves he just loves being in the country yeah he's just grateful he's grateful he's here <laughs> and he wants to say his, his peace and thanks yeah, 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 that's yeah. like just in case you guys are watching i love it here i yeah, love it here literally yeah. that's what it's that's not what it's. if you want to deport people it's not me yeah yeah that's what he's trying to say got it okay yeah we didn't know because like joe said we like everyone was like shut the fuck yeah, up you don't know what's about they like, were pissed man, just, and we were just like oh you know okay damn you we're know? also just like we have no idea what's going on we're like what does she do what do they do they're just like in the house are they doing and now stuff? it's the king and his like, sausage fingers like what are, what, his fingers, fingers are crazy massive, massive. Yes. wild fingers crazy massive. wild how long has it been now, how... a year maybe it's been a year I'm surely asking. not i don't know how long has it been hmm? <laughs> i don't know you know you know you know we're looking at you wait were the megan you know i'm not even from there yeah i don't know the queen dad when was that i think it was last summer i think it was like last summer and so like what 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 does the crown do? Nothing. Yeah. They just get paid. Like uh, the king just upped his salary, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> thank Five. God, you know. From like, <laughs> like, I feel like I deserve a raise. I just got like, here. But yeah, from yeah, twenty yeah. million to like seventy five million. And right? the thing is, as well, people hate him, but if I was the king, I would do literally the exact same thing. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd be the sickest king of all time. What, what would be your first yeah. thing that you do? Good question. First oh. mandate. First mandate. First mandate. Hmm. What would be my first mandate? Four day weeks, four day work Ooh. weeks. Honestly, mm. I love that. I like that a lot. Mine There's a lot of studies that say mm. that's a good thing. Yeah, it was they like, tried that recently. They did. did. We try that recently. There's a country that does that. No. no. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> did we invent that? <laughs> mm. They tried it in some places. Yeah. I love how <laughs> all of us are talking about like a work week. <laughs> 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 Man. She's like four days. <laughs> really getting what the after fuck it. Fuck, are you talking about? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure in the UK they tried they that. They tried right? it, yeah. But like a hundred companies or something Some tried it, and it, it worked, and they're going to mm. keep it mm -hmm. four day week. I, I mean, it, it's if the science is there, and like fucking why the fuck not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know? If I was king, first thing I would do is probably legalize weed. Oh, Ooh. is it still? Is it I what is it decriminalized or? Is we, so first, we also don't have the whole decriminalized thing. It's, it's illegal. It's either illegal or it's Bro, not. I don't even know what Thank the fuck you. that yeah. means. Yeah. I mean, what, is, what, is, what does that mean? I don't decriminalization even know what it means. means like to a certain point you can't get in like serious trouble. Like it, it, it's so like it's a convoluted thing, but like you can go to prison for a long time with a certain amount of weed in the United States. And then they were like, all right. <laughs> uh, you, you get a slap on the wrist sometimes. Yeah, you know? but if you decriminalize something – then like it's no then because then it's, it's like, not yo if you get arrested for a felony it's on your criminal record uh, okay if it's a decriminalized something like i don't think it can follow you like it can get expunged mm. after mm. you know five years if you don't get arrested or whatever a lot of legal lingo being thrown around right you know it's a lot I, of jargon yeah honestly Good so for you uh well, I, so just complete so it's still illegal over there it is yeah mm. how is how is it being in new york uh, with the weed yeah I oh. smell it everywhere, but yeah, it stinks. Yeah. You smell the piss because we have <laughs> a lot of that too. I what have... did we smell early on the way to the taco uh, place? Just nonsense. Yeah, yeah. 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 you don't really know. Like That's shit. part of the the uh, you know the allure of, of New York. <laughs> oh, you walk yeah. around, you're like, I've never smelled that before. Yeah. What is that? That's I had not smelled it before. Yeah. Yeah. And it's either pee pee, poo poo, or a mixture of both. Or blood in there, probably. Yeah, probably. What's the steam that comes out of the sewers? No one knows. No one knows. No one. Did you the steam that comes out of the fucking? It's like a no, like don't ask, don't tell kind of kind of thing. It's just yeah. like, well, that's that's hap that's coming out of the ground, and that's just what it's gonna do. Yeah, and, and like, have you did you see? I don't know if you saw any of them, but like when they do road work, they have the big orange cones that are just mm -hmm. yeah, 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 bellowing yeah. steam. No one knows. It's kind of cool. Not one bit. You, like you, 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 I like steam. I don't know about you guys. Seems pretty cool. Steam, fog, those types of stuff. They're pretty any hot. Sort of smoky thing. They're pretty hot though. What is steam? Steam will burn you worse than boiling water. Steam will. Is that true? Fuck it's hotter. Up. It's it's yeah. hotter than boiling water. Is it? It's a, it's a, it's Wait, a, no, I actually don't know. That. Everyone I was is going to take the panel. Yeah. Why is she yeah. laughing so hard? Yeah. I'm not really, is that like a very obvious <laughs> thing? Because I have no idea. Idiot. <laughs> yeah, because think about it. It's evaporated water. It's yeah, and and, and and yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, why wouldn't it be the same? So it'll hurt more. One direction. How do you guys feel about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, if you guys yeah, can't tell, Joe didn't do much school. Uh, I, I didn't know it was hotter. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it's, I didn't actually know until you said. I, was I like, also didn't sense. care. Right? Yeah. No, Which I don't is, either. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, when are we gonna run into like a fucking like horror movie where like a steam vent opens above your head and you're just like, oh shit! Never gonna happen. <sighs> that True. would be rough though. Mm. That'd be pretty cool. 
I think that like you'd be fine though. I don't know. I, is it weird that I'm not afraid of steam? No, because it's not something to fear. I don't really have it. You just said it's hotter than boiling water. I feel like it's I'd be boiling afraid water of that. something to fear. Bro, I used to yes, be so afraid of lava when I was younger, and I live here. <laughs> oh, my but God. I used to be like, bro, though. I used to be like, yo, lava, bro. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> if well, we were if like, something erupts. Like, I, I don't know how it was for you guys, but like, we were taught very specifically how to like get out of quicksand in the middle of New York yeah. City, what? like through elementary school. What was the procedure? Yeah, well, how it's do you like, get out of it? It's like, don't like panic. Yeah. You need to like lay on your back and like, you know, weight displacement and like someone pull you out slowly. But like, oh, they wow. were very specific in telling I us that. I learned that on Jumanji, I think. It's a great mm. movie, honestly. Was it Jumanji? Fist me, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah the floorboards. The dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the he dude. goes down in there. <laughs> the dude. Who's the dude? The, the, the hunter. Wait, is it? No, it's what's his name falls into quicksand. Robin Williams falls Robin into Williams. quicksand. Yeah, Alan Parrish, my guy. Come on. Alan Parrish. How did you remember that name? I, I, That's crazy. I'm a big movie person. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I competed in a competitive oh, yeah. movie trivia league. Oh, oh my God, really? Yeah, they like flew me out to LA and everything. It was Sick. Piss off. Seriously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Sorry. Piss your pants. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> did you win? Or? Uh, I was, I finished my career at two and one. So I won, you know. <laughs> my career. <laughs> yeah. Short lived, but you know, short a lot lived, of fun. but hey, man, well, you're gonna finish with a winning record. You that know, that sounds insane. That does sound insane. Well yeah. played. All right, before we move forward with this uh, episode of the Basement Yard, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being Liquid IV. Liquid IV is gonna keep you hydrated. Okay, they come in little packets, and you put the powder in 16 ounces of cold water. You mix it up. You have a lovely tasting drink, and it's going to keep you hydrated. They have three times the electrol, uh, the amount of electrolytes of uh, leading sports drinks. No artificial sweeteners and zero sugar. Uh, they contain eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Uh, and they're delicious, by the way. I love the lemon lime ones, but they have strawberry, they have watermelon, they have all kinds of flavors, and all of them are good, trust me. Uh, literally every single one I've had, love them. Um, but you can grab these liquid IV hydration multipliers uh, that are sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. Uh, that is 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. So go get it, folks. Like I said, it's very easy. You just tear open the little packet, you put it in water, you mix it up. Tastes delicious, keeps you hydrated, amazing. So go try, uh, go try uh, some Liquid IV and let me know how it is. It's amazing. Uh, next year we have HelloFresh. HelloFresh, uh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. It's very easy uh, to do, and you just go on their website, you just pick from their uh, their uh, recipes that they have, and they have like a rotating cast of you know recipes that you can choose from. Like I said, they're seasonal, and it's all pre-portioned, so you use everything that you get. There's no you know. Now you have a jug of mayonnaise that you're not using. Like everything's pre-portioned. You use all of it when you make the recipes. Um, they teach you how to make it, and you could even keep that, you know, recipe and like put it in a little cookbook. And now you have things to cook. I mean, the reason why I love it so much is because sometimes I have no idea what to cook. Um, so, you know, when there's new recipes constantly being added on HelloFresh, uh, it just keeps you know your your kitchen new for lack of a better word. Usually when I cook, I cook four things and that's it. Um, but with HelloFresh, you get a lot of different stuff and it's all really good food. Uh, like I said, farm fresh, it's it's amazing. Um, and you can go to hellofresh.com slash basement free and use the code basement free for free breakfast for life, okay? Uh, one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash basement free with the code basement free. It's a whole meal. Some say the most important meal of the day. Uh, but HelloFresh.com slash Basement Free, um, free breakfast for life. Again, you get one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. So free food. You might as well hop all over that. What is your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time? The Mask. Jim Carrey. Uh, I watched that recently. It's so good. Cameron Diaz looks insane oh my God. in that movie. Yeah. What happened to her? Um, I'm pretty sure she's still a she's thing. Still, yeah, she still like looks good. I'm not disputing oh, she the like, fact she's I think she, beautiful. She quit acting to like, I think like spend more time with her family or something like that. Fire, Did love she really? That. I think so. What idiot? Get that bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I think she has more money than God, though. Mm. She's a Charlie's. Who's God, Joey? Let's talk about Charlie that. Chaplin. That's true. She's a Charlie's Angel. It. She was a Charlie's Angel, right? She was a Charlie's Angel. Yeah, one of the. Yeah. Lucy Liu went through a big Lucy Liu phase in my life. She was hot. Oh, Did you? She was hot. What? Is that like a thing? What? You don't a like Lucy Liu? Lu I like Lucy Liu. In like, the Charlie's Angels phase, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah in that era. Hot. I was like, 
way more into like professional wrestling at that point in time. So like he's like, I'm like, oh Trish Stratus, you know? Like, <laughs> Trish oh Stratus. shit, Lita, wow. fucking doing backflips and shit. Yeah, play China. Yes. Yeah. Well, R.I.P. That's right. That too. Mm. We gotta and and yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. One. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, but about that. Uh, so I actually, by happenstance, stumbled upon something today that I, I we wanted to kind of talk with you guys about. It's cool, man. It feels like he went out of his way for it, to be honest. Oh no, I prepared, <laughs> <laughs> bastard. Um, so there was uh, this uh, website that did a poll of ten thousand British people mm -hmm. and asked them to list their favorite and least favorite things to come out of the U.S. Mm -hmm, cool. So I have a list of both. We'll do favorite first. Okay. And I, I, I need you guys to, like, do you agree, do you not agree, kind of okay, where you stand. I also want to know, like, what their favorites are. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so let's start there. Like, wh what would you say are your favorite things to come out of the United States besides us? I was going to say the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fucking God almighty. I love you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking God almighty. Yeah. Wow. You guys, are, you guys are sick. Sometimes it gets religious. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Favorite things, Favorite things come, come out, out of America. The US. <gasps> that was the or would it be side. easier to go least favorite first? Mm. It's easier to hate, right? I hate American cheese. I fucking... Oh, it's not cheese. Too. Yeah. It's, it's not plastic, it's not disgusting cheese. stuff. I hate it. What's yeah. your favorite cheese? Probably cheddar, to be fair. Oh, but feta. Feta's better than I, cheddar. I hate feta. I'm, not, actually, I'm also not... <laughs> what? It's better. Feta better than cheddar. Feta is better than cheddar. It's better cheese. It's so good for you. I, I'm sure it is. I'm, not, I'm also, caveat, I'm not a massive cheese guy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just a simple mature cheddar. That's You're not a bag. big cheese guy, but you just immediately went to cheese when you said... Yeah, because I already hate cheese, and then American cheese is my least favorite of the thing that I don't already don't yeah. like. I will say this, though. As... Also a big cheese guy, <laughs> even though you said you're not. Yeah. <laughs> on a burger, American cheese is better than any other cheese. No, it's not. Yes, Swiss, it cheese, Swiss cheese is the best on a burger. No, 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 no. Jack Ched. No, because you don't get the separation of like the fucking, it doesn't like separate the oils and all that shit. American cheese just looks like. It's garbage. The wrapper that it's in. You well, know, you're like going when you craft it off, singles. It's still shiny. You're going craft singles, Where Joey. Am I? Okay, but even so, like, you get it at a deli, the shit is still, like, shiny as fuck. I don't and know. And I'm like, this is not, I shouldn't be eating this. Ooh, what do you, what's your least, one of your least favorite things to come out of the U.S.? Probably the mass shootings. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fire. Yeah, that's that a, is that's a good answer. That is a, a really good Welcome answer. back to the comedy podcast, guys. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about mass shootings and why they're so yeah, fucked up. Yeah, those, those suck. <laughs> yeah. They do. We're the best at it, which is not good, but we are the best when you think about it. We are the best at it, mm. and it's really bad. Yeah, it's so. not, not not sweet, I would say. It's fucked. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll I wondering... to kill, I like to kill the podcast. I wonder hard. how yeah, that I is. That. That. I love that. I do, <laughs> he loves mass shooting. See? Don't, stop. Don't. <laughs> Joey, you no, but can't. Hit, yeah, I mean. Statistically, you are way probably more likely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a thing that of my people for some reason, um, but I, I wonder how that is like from other countries looking at because I feel like living here you're just desensitized to it. You almost don't even hear about all the ones that happen. You don't. You really don't. And it's like it's insane. It's like at this point you hear about a mass shooting happening. This is hilarious, by the way, that we're talking about. This. But like you hear about it happening and it's kind of like, like you finding out that someone 10 blocks away died or something you're just mm -hmm. like oh that's fucked up but like okay it's also Wednesday. it's just fucking yeah. it's crazy yeah, it's and it makes sad. you feel like a psychopath because you're like why do i not feel this more but it just happens so much that it's mm. like strange there so i wonder from another country looking into being like that place is a fucking <laughs> war zone <laughs> yeah. like that is terrifying it's almost as if if we just did what other people do that have less of those that maybe it would work yeah, you know, but it'd be like you guys just have knife fights. It's cooler. Yeah. Knife fights. Yeah. Just be yeah. drunk. Introduce just like rabid football fans. Mm -hmm. You know, and we are stupid when it comes to knife yeah, fights. Yeah, the though. machete game over there is crazy. Machete? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I thought we were That's talking like knife. little knives. <laughs> no, no, no. no those I've never seen a machete. Get your hands I've on seen. Them. I've seen. I'm not seeing seen? one being used. Not personally, and I'm not like I'm talking about like news. I'm yep. not seeing one being used, but I've seen 
some being seized and they say like, oh, a machete oh, yeah, was machete. taken off. Yeah, 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 as yeah. opposed to being used to. You guys have a lot of like stabbings though, right? Yeah, because we, there's a lot no of stabbings. We've got right? nothing yeah. else to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> like we don't have a, the opportunity yeah, boy, to get inventive go about stabbed. our murders. How you guys you know? feel about Jack the Ripper? Yay, nay? What are we thinking here? <laughs> yay or nay? Oh, oh. Is there ever a yay? Why would it be a yay? I don't know. Some people are history buffs, you know. And they're into Jack the Ripper? Some people, yeah, dude. I'm sure there are to be. What fair. other? Yeah, all right. I think so. Let's get off of murder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what other like things from the U.S. you guys or like do you have any that are like yeah this is fucking way better than what we got? Oh, <sighs> the strip clubs are better here. Oh my god. Yeah. What? They actually You've are. been here ten days, dude. I've been to America more than once. Okay, cool. Dude. Yeah, the strip clubs <laughs> are better here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, way better. What? Okay. What are why, they? Well, why? Why, is it bad? Yeah. why? I think you you need to come to the UK and go to a strip club to know why they're better. And be like, what are we doing? Here? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, it's very. What do they play? Just like the Benny Hill music while they're stripping and stuff like Yuck. that. Yuck. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they're very um. How do I say it? Demotivated in England. Yeah. Oh, sorry. yeah. I went to one uh, a few a few months ago, and I was like, oh, would you give my like friend? A Bear in mind, like these days. They hardly even have poles in there. Mm. Um, and then I went to one the other day and there was like three girls there. And I was like, oh, um, would you guys want to give my friend a dance? And uh, they were like, you know, that's like a hundred each, right? And I was like, okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> like, do you want to do it? Mm. And they were like, I get I guess. Damn, your friend must have been How ugly. Are you there no, for? Dude, <laughs> literally. And then they took him in and he came out like, this is the best thing of all time. And they came over and literally just like walked straight back over to the bar and started doing yeah, shots. They were having a rough day. Yeah. Yeah. Your friend must have been ugly. <laughs> this he's, is a he's, <laughs> actually, he's actually strikingly handsome. Yeah. So I was surprised. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Do you, this is a stupid question, but do you guys have like one dollar bills? We don't. No. Pound we coins. flick pound coins into it. I was just going to ask that. Like he's terrifying. In yeah. Canada, they have one dollar and two dollar coins. So I'm like, well, how is like what is that so strip club? So you just ones we have, this is the horrible thing as yeah. well. So what happens in certain strip clubs is there'll be like a waitress who will come around with like a bucket. And every 60 seconds, you have to drop a pound coin in there. <laughs> and if you run out of pound coins, they will ask you to leave. Yeah. What? It's horrible. So you That's... have to go to the bar and like, change me. I need some change. Yeah. You know what they the need? They're coming. They're coming. Yeah. Just give me a fucking bucket. Give me some more change. The British. The British are coming. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it's like it's church. So, they pass yeah. around a basket. Yeah, it's so it's stressful. Like church. It's horrible. It's like church, yeah. Wow. You, I, you know what they need to put in? They need to put in those like arcade games where you drop a coin in it and it like goes down a slide and you can like shoot it. What the fuck? In the strip clubs are or just in general? Even talking about? <laughs> Why not both, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Damn, you don't remember those that. games? Actually, you know what? I would think that like the strippers would benefit more from that. That because I'd be like, I don't want to carry all these fucking coins. Yeah. Like I'd be like, here's a five. What's the high, what's the Highest denomination. I mean, the lowest bill. Five. five. So, yeah, I would be yeah. more inclined to be like, just take this five and like. Yeah, to be fair. Does it buy you time? Like, do they come around again? You're like, I put a five in. Last time. They don't, no, it doesn't. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a shit. Give me another shit. pound. You're in ten. Hundred percent. If I gave her a ten and then sixty seconds later she came around again, I'd be like, dude, I just gave you ten. She's like, dude, who even are you? Get out. Really? Damn, they yeah. kick you out. Damn, yeah, it's, it's gross. I don't think that you even have to like. Do anything in a show. You could just walk it. I mean, you have to. No, like a you, cover you need it. You need a, a lot of places. Take from the first. I haven't been in a strip club in fucking eons, but like you need to. It's like a one drink minimum at least per like hour that you're in there or some shit like oh, that. Yeah, that's kind of chill. Like, and a lot of the places that are like I, I shouldn't say a lot of places, the places I've been to are full nude and they don't have their liquor license because of that. So like you need to uh, buy like we went to one the other day. Um, and he was like, oh, it's full nudity, so no alcohol. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You, yeah. yeah. So, like, the last time, the only time I went to one, you had to, like, buy a bucket of, like, non-alcoholic beer. So I'm sitting That's there lame. drinking, That's like, non-alcoholic oh. Coors Light. And I'm just like, it was, it He's was like, awful. what am I doing here? Yeah, yeah. that made me feel like such a pervert. Yeah. Lich, yeah. Oh, gross. It's like, I'm 23. Why am I in here right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be in here. But I've only been to two New York strip clubs, and they were trash. Why? They just, they, cause in comparison, the only other strip club I went to was in Vegas. Okay. And it was like. I bet that was cool. W very different over yeah. there. <laughs> he could have gave words out. <laughs> very <laughs> different. Like, we went in, because at the time when we went, we knew someone that worked there. Cool. Not as a dancer, as like a server. And she was like, oh, I'll give you guys a free table. We'll give you guys a bottle each of vodka. And like, oh, you want a cigar? And I was like, sure. And she's like, all right, you just need to at least spend $60. 
And we were like, fucking okay. All right. I'll spend one. No brainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know we know someone that took our friend's credit card and put like thirteen hundred bucks on there. Um, <laughs> like uh, just swiping a credit um, card at a strip club. That's some that's some that's some others. Can only imagine what happened, honestly. We know what happened. I wasn't gonna say it. Yeah, we know we know what nice. happened. But uh, <laughs> the audience can assume what happened as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right, the list. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the list. <laughs> the list, the list. Alright, alright. So this is according to Brits, the best things to come out of America. Okay, go. There's eight. Number eight, Stephen King. Interesting. Hot take. Well, like, well, like, Interesting. I can't yeah, believe like that why? was even in the top fifty. Yeah, yeah. that's very. That's I a mean, hot he's take. A, yeah, he's a good author. You guys big readers? Books? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, good. Me neither. I, yeah. <laughs> I remember the last time I read a book. Facts. I have really? To, like, I'm embarrassed myself. to say I actually don't remember the last time I read a book. Oh my god, mm. you're talking a fucking king book over here. No, you're not, dude. He reads like motivational books. Like this is how I got my startup. <laughs> this is literally oh, made man. up. No, dude, you've posted pictures of you reading books with your morning during coffee. the pant. What was I gonna do? It was uh, I was stuck inside. I was reading. You books. were drinking wine. Joey, you were you were drunk all the time. I was. I was drinking a lot of wine. In the beginning of the pandemic, they were like, uh, it was 14 days stopped the spread, and I was like, I'm moving back into my mom's house and just drinking wine every night. <laughs> and then they were like, probably another two weeks, and I was like, awesome. And then, you know, two years passed by. Like, <laughs> what was probably what was the like lockdown like over by you guys? It was tough. It was so long. Um, yeah. We used to have to, there was a point where you literally weren't allowed to like leave your house. Mm -hmm. um, or no, you were allowed to leave your house. You weren't allowed to drive your car yeah. unless it was like for essential purposes. So this was like probably like three week, four weeks stint mm -hmm. uh, in like the real heat of it. So like if you, if you were on the, the motorway or the freeway, or whatever, the police will pull you over because you have literally no excuse to be there. Um, so, and this is when we were doing our podcast wow. and he used to live in a city called Manchester, which was like three hours from me. So I would have to take all the back roads from my house to his house to not get like arrested so we did can record ever, our did podcast. Did you get pulled over? Three nah, hours, never. Um, wow. Luckily, but I I took the back, I'm pretty sure I went, we have this place called the Lake District, which is like- It's the north of it. It's, it's like story short. Game of Thrones level, like country roads and like mountains and like, it was like driving through the Lord of the Rings, basically. <laughs> Um, all that for your boy. All that I fucking respect for my boy. That love, That's man. crazy. Wait, how long? What was did you do? It was three hours. I was God, waiting dude. for him to come so we could record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would do that. And, then, him, and like... then I would risk my life on the way home as well. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't allowed to like crash for a night or something. Or so could... once I got there, yeah. it was fine. Um, so yeah, we recorded like ten episodes yeah. in the space of two days because I had no oh, idea when I was going to be able what to come back. Did you guys even talk about? Dude, who knows? I don't remember. We went. Tenth episode must have been like. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there was one time we spoke about what if Kylie Jenner asked you on a date for about an hour oh, and a yeah. half. Yep, 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 yep. What was the consensus? I think we both said we'd lose our minds. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. It took you an hour it and a half to get there. to realize yeah. that we'd, we'd be pumped. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? I don't know. It's going to take me an hour to get to a yes, but we'll eventually get there. Mm. Yeah. Three hours is, just, that is, put the time in for the podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah, Thank God. Damn, that's love. Ended up working out. That's though, hardcore so that's love. That's great. And did you reciprocate that? And did you get him gifts or anything? Or? Wow, this is crazy. He's gifts? Gifts? No. Love always. I yeah. love that. Thanks, bro. Uh, all right. So number seven of the most loved things that Brits believe came out of the U.S. The Simpsons. Fair. Strong. Really? Fair. Strong. Staple. Simpsons been out since that's what, my 1980-something. Yeah, that's so. my childhood. Yeah, yeah. I, I never really was a big Simpsons fan. You? Really? I don't think you were either, right? No. I think you guys have variety. I here, like though. it. We have yeah, a, but you like have variety here. Like yeah. you got a lot more shows. Well, here. you guys don't. Not that we didn't, but S Simpsons is a staple, man. Yeah, yeah Simpsons yeah. is a staple. Crazy. Especially when we were younger, and we before like streaming and yeah. like mm. we weren't allowed uh, cable in my house, so we only had the free channels. And Simpsons mm. was on six. How old were you guys? Thirty-two. 32. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. So you're basically the same age as us. You didn't have like we had illegal cable. Yeah, we had illegal mm. cable, but like we had like Nickelodeon, which was like. You know, SpongeBob, Rugrats. <sighs> My house wasn't allowed Nickelodeon. We had Nickelodeon like further into. I like, can't our network. Childhood. I can't network. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Cartoon Network. Oh, Cartoon Network. Sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't. Was he the accent? <laughs> I don't. I, the I, accent. I, I just. Um, it's hot in here. Can you uh -huh. guys do like a good American <clears throat> accent or not? Um, I can try. You have to give me a sentence. Hey, I'm Joey. I'm Joey. I'm the pizza guy. <laughs> that's exactly what he says. That's, that's crazy. What, yeah, I'm pretty that's, sure that's what he so said. That's so crazy yeah. that you, he, right before we walked in, he's like, just, I hope they know I'm Joey. I'm, I'm the pizza Joey guy. Santa Chicago. And <laughs> I'm uh, the pizza guy. That's it. And a couple more syllables right. in there. So, so sentence, say like, why don't we go to the park, shoot some hoops? Why don't we go to the park, shoot some hoops? 
Oh, that was that's subtle. really smooth. Yeah. yeah, that was like Idris level. Yeah, he said it like low and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we? I was like, I can't really hear you, but yes. I said, why don't we go to the park, shoot some hoops? Damn! Yeah. Really my guy. Don't well ask done. me to reciprocate because I can't do it whatsoever. <laughs> I, like, I, I can. I, I like just sound half stupid. Australian or something. You, can, you I do. I sound like an idiot. But <laughs> what? It's you true. Can you say, it, um, Frank? Can you say, I'm just gonna pop to the shops. Can I? Yeah. Yes. Will it sound dumb? Also, yes. You're going to pop to the shops? I'm, gonna, I'm just, I'm just going to pop to the shops. That was good! That was good! That was really good! Yes, dude! Really good. Was yes, go! Yes. That was really good. <laughs> Joe, you're up. Joe, you can't do shit! Joe, you're up. I'm just going to pop to the shops. Oh, oh boo! <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Oh, God, that fuck sucked. Fuck off. Yeah. Do you guys spell things with O-U? Because yes, I hate that, dude. Yes, you do. Like color. Oh, Color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why though? Favorite. Favorite. Oh, yeah. you. Favorite. Favor you right. <laughs> Favor, Favor you right. right. Favor you right. Yeah. Favorite. Uh, what else have we got? Color. Favorite. Color. Favorite. That's kind of it, no? Boutique. I guess that's the same old. No boots. <laughs> what did you say? Neighbor. Neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Good oh, shout. do you do shop with a P E at the end? Shop. Nah. Who the fuck, fuck does that? that? Nah. There's the. It's the like vitamin a, shop. That's like a Dutch thing, I think, or something like that. <sighs> Is it? Is it? Nice. Are you Dutch? Oh, I was going to say, we hate the Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> We're from New York. This is little Dutch Deutschland. Oh, I was like, what are you talking it's about? True. It's like, true. New York was founded by the Dutch. A lot of people don't remember that. Was it? Well, I shouldn't say founded. They, they kind of, here we go. Buckle in. <laughs> they kind of <laughs> took it, you know. Well, oh, yeah. And then called it like Discovery. Wait, what? I, I, I have no idea what you're saying. I believe Me neither. I believe Manhattan was populated by a lot of First Nation... You looked it up? Native American. Damn, this is checking out. I'm pissed off. Yeah, and uh, the Dutch came over here and they were like, oh, that's Manhattan is a, I believe it's a, a Native American term for the land of many hills. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. And, uh, Damn, dude, why do you know stuff? <laughs> Fuck. One of us has to be smart. <laughs> And it's barely me. All right, you say <laughs> the dumbest things. No, sometimes. and then, yeah, you never. You heard thought the, the, the moon was made of the Grand Canyon. Shut up. What? what? Oh, did you think a meteorite right, came yeah. and like smashed and then carved it that did. out and then it, it went it into did. space? It did. And then it made a perfect circle. It did. It did. There was one of those Instagram scientists who she was like, "All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know what? He's onto something here." And she was like, "No, like a long time ago, <laughs> in a galaxy far, 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 far away, away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something hit us and like it broke us mentally, it broke us. <laughs> physically, broke us. and it like that's what the moon is. It, it became like a, you know." That's like kind of like a chunk of us almost. Yeah, it isn't mm. though, you know. Yeah. Uh, how does how does Saturn have moons? Because it's huge, dude. What? How is that a? It's that's not an answer, Frank. <laughs> it's, it's big. <laughs> it's big, but well, it's proven. Yeah, the, the Dutch like flipped a coin, like a quarter, at the Native Americans that were here, and they were like, "We'll take this land," and they were like, "Please don't," and they were like, "Here's a quarter," and then they took it. So. And syphilis. Nice. Yeah, 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 that's it. It was smallpox, I believe, is what we were spreading. I'm glad you took we. the collective we. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really doing myself any favors by <laughs> saying not. that, am I? I believe we were spreading smallpox. Um, yeah. I can't really remember, but... <laughs> yeah, those were the days. What was then. it, guys? Smallpox? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, all right, number... Number six. Number six. All right, we do have some more sponsors uh, for this episode, starting with Squarespace. Squarespace is where you're going to build your website uh, and launch it, hopefully, as well. I mean, if you have a small business or you create content or anything, really, that you want to promote, you're going to need a really good website. Uh, sometimes that's everyone's first impression of you is how legit is this website. And, you know, back in the day, you needed to pay someone to who knows coding and all this stuff. But you need you don't need to do that anymore. You have platforms like Squarespace, with Squarespace which I think is the best platform for this. I've built many websites using Squarespace before and I love it and it makes it very easy and it sort of cuts out a middleman because they have great templates that make your website beautiful from like a click of a button you literally just click this button and you have to change some of the text and you can add your own pictures into it so you can customize it towards you know your brand or whatever you're selling um, but it makes it very easy to have a professional looking website and um, they have a great tools to let you know like where traffic is coming from. They will help you optimize your business and your traffic to your website. So um, you can go to squarespace.com uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, so again, like if you are launching a website or you have a small business or whatever, um, don't hesitate to use Squarespace to make it happen. Um, go to squarespace.com uh, for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT. 
uh, for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. So go check it out. And lastly here, we have FitBod. Um, you know, the winter time, it's, it's coming around and this is the perfect time to get ahead of your summer bod, okay? Or just to get in shape or whatever the hell you want. Uh, but FitBod is, is amazing because uh, they have a powerful technology that understands your strength training ability. It studies your past workouts and adapts to your available gym equipment. And that's why I think it is a very amazing tool to be using because it's for everybody. Uh, if you don't have access to a gym or you don't have dumbbells or you have no experience with fitness and, and exercise, FitBot is going to help you because they have over 1,500 uh, exercise demonstration videos. So if you've never even heard of these exercises, there's a person, there's a video you can watch where they teach you how to do it, and then you could, you know, do your program as you see fit. Uh, like I said, if you don't have any dumbbells or you don't have access to a, a like a gym membership, you can do body weight stuff, and you can do this in the comfort of your own home at your own pace. Um, and that I think is great because you know not everyone has access to those things. Um, and even if you do have experience, it's for you as well because I think that they do a good job in, like I said, they study your past workouts and then adapts, you know, you know, moving forward. Uh, you can't just do the same exercises forever and expect different results. You have to, you know, keep your body guessing, so to speak. And Fitbot does a great job at doing that. So if you want to get into shape and you need, uh, you know, help. Um, sometimes a personal trainer can be very expensive. So FitBod um, is a, a more affordable way to sort of do that. And you can get 25% off your subscription and get three personalized uh, workouts when you go to fitbod.me slash basement. That's 25% off and free personalized workouts at fitbod.me slash basement. So get to it, folks. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I am partial to agree. Pa why partial? Just full agree. He's great. He is pretty good. I don't know if he's the sixth best thing to ever come yeah, out of America. And I also don't think he's take. really technically from. Oh, I think he grew up in Hawaii. So that's America, right? Yeah, that is it's, a fifty-first state. Kind of, yeah. you know. It's the fifty-first state of America. Yeah. Well, no, no, fiftieth. Puerto Rico no, is not technically the fifty-first state. It's not a state. I know it's a commonwealth. Mm. Which what is that? We have no idea. It's not a nice thing. Remember I'll tell you this: we Puerto went to Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. They don't like the United oh, States. Oh yeah, no, they're not big fans really? of us. We mm. went to a, a distillery and they had a like a bunch of barrels, obviously like aged rum and stuff. And they had this one barrel like in the center, and they're like, "This is like the oldest barrel that we have." And the guy, and meanwhile, it's just Americans who are there because we we were there with some like American company and whatever. So we're all sitting there, and the guy's like, "This is our oldest barrel." Um, the guy who created this big company there, like their whole distillery. Um, before he died, he was like, this barrel, we're, we're not going to open until Puerto Rico gets their independence from the United States. And then we were it all just quiet. standing there like, it was and then everyone's quiet. like, ooh, and they're like taking pictures of it. And I'm like, this is fucked up. This is very <laughs> sad. I was like, I feel like we've done something wrong. Yeah, like, the, guy, the guy said too, he's like, and we'll never open this. That's what yeah. he said. He's like, I don't think this is ever going to open. And then he slapped it and walked oh, away. And I was like, oh, damn. Well, well I have you, a lot like, of guilt. You guys have the power to stop this. Take your pictures? Oh, definitely not us. I don't think. I mean, yeah, you know, like, it was very. He was he was nice, but there was dark. a tinge of like mm. darkness behind it. Yeah, he's dark. like, yeah, we'll never have it. I was like, fuck, dude. All right, but Jesus. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Um, fifteen years ago, probably, I'd probably say yes. Cause fifteen years ago. Fifteen. Yeah, because I was a huge WWF WWE fan. Yeah. Oh, baby. Huge. Stone so, Cold and the Rock. Yeah, man. Triple H, all of them a lot. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. me your best uh, Stone Cold impression. Everyone has one. <laughs> best Stone Cold impression. Yeah. Everyone. Ha all right, any wrestler you could do. Cause you know, I know you grew up doing impressions of wrestlers. Everyone did. Do a Scotty Too Hearty on the floor right now. What the worm? You can worm it up. <laughs> I can actually. Can don't you, the, you, you can do the worm. fucking dare. I could. I used to try and do it. I've not done it in years. I don't think my limbs can handle that. <laughs> I'm, not gonna I'm not going to lie to you. The worm is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Back in the day, someone just go to a party, break out the worm, and you're like, "That's the coolest guy." Ever. Ah, yeah, that's damn, that's a good worm, bro. Yeah. The good days in the '80s. I wish I could backflip and moonwalk. Not at the same time, but just those two things. Well, when I was um, when I was a kid, I spent an entire summer trying to learn how to backflip. Oh yeah, and, and I broke my toe. Ah, uh, yeah, damn. And I never learned. <laughs> Do you know what's funny about that? I saw a video where a guy's like, "I'm gonna learn how to backflip today." Day. I've seen and that. And he did it. Yeah. And I was like, "Who is this?" He guy? just had a mattress, and in yeah. like ten hours, he figured it out. I'm too scared to break my fucking neck. Yeah, oh, man. It's I won't even backflip like can into you water. When you jump, can you like elevate a lot, or is it like a mediocre height? No, Joey was always right. very good. He's looking at me like I know he you're white. Very, he yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's Joey like, was you're a, a white career. person, <laughs> so can you fit a piece of paper yeah. on your feet when you jump? <laughs> Joey was a good shooter from the perimeter. You know, he wasn't okay. in the paint. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Just like, yeah, exactly. I was a point guard, guys. I, I wasn't down in the paint or anything. Yeah, and even yeah. that was barely right. Um, so, 
Uh, speaking of moonwalking, <laughs> uh, the uh, number five best thing, according to Brits, to come out of the U.S., uh, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I'll take that. Yeah? Yeah, I'll take totally that. 100% agree. I got some bad news for you guys. <laughs> he's not American? No, he is. No. He's just, yeah, he's There's bad news. There's some stuff there. Yeah. There's some stuff there. Hey, man, that's Great songs, allegations, though, you know. dude. Yeah. You're right. They are I don't allegations. appreciate that. They're, They're unfounded allegations. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, his his catalog hits, he's amazing. dude. His fucking he's immediately <laughs> like, no, I love him, dude. <laughs> yeah. I have a tattoo on my back of Michael Jackson's face. There's some stuff there. Question for you guys. Do you prefer Black Michael or White Michael? Yes. I love the I love the silence. I love the silence. The silence. You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong. You know, thriller, but like Man in the Mirror, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't oh, even know. Yes. I don't even know. You had no answer. answer. Oh, I was, I was thinking of the albums. I'm like, what? <laughs> Jesus, that was funny. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna say big Michael fans. I'm gonna say black, just for just so everyone knows, right? Just for the optics. I'm an ally. (laughs) An ally. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, Michael's cool. That's a good shout. Yeah, Yeah. I think I think you know Mm. music catalog is. uh, Someone recently said like they were like, oh, uh, Drake and Taylor Swift are the new Michael Jackson. Drake is the new Michael Jackson, by the way. Oh, I don't. Well, it's, it's he's got more. He's he's. I mean, he might have like more hits, but he's also in a place where it's a lot easier to get your hands on music than it was. Thirty-five, forty years. Yeah, years but ago. I also think there's more options when Michael was around. Like, just of how famous he was, if he could drop anything, it didn't have to be good, and he would be number one because no one, there was no one else. I but was it was say, also good, though. I he was good. That's the thing. It's like in addition to it, it was good. Are you suggesting that Drake isn't good? I, I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not a big like. I Joey makes fun of me all the time for this. I don't like listen to current music. The fuck? I like my music knowledge stopped at like 2009. Yeah, he's like, Old I was listening R&D. to fucking Bow Wow on the way over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's right. It's like what? He's not kidding. This right. shorty like mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like Joey. I was listening to Dem Franchise Boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 me and Dem. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a, you know, like what's your favorite album? And I'd be like, <laughs> obviously, it's D4L's titular album. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know the name of their album. Yeah. No, Damn, bro. Yeah, but I, so I can't say like Drake isn't good. I know he's obviously like he cemented his place as like an icon, mm-hmm. but I don't think there's a comparison. I think that Michael Jackson is probably the most famous person who's ever lived. Probably, probably. Yeah. Jack Nicholson. Are you insane, Jack Burt Reynolds. Nicholson? Burt Reynolds. That Burt Reynolds. You know that's that, such a horrible like. <laughs> He might be f- like the four millionth most famous. Nah, person. I don't know, man. Those those eighties, seventies, eighties, nineties. No, dude. I crazy. think if I close my eyes, I don't even know what Burt Reynolds looks like. Yeah, right. just it's, yeah. White mustache. That's all you need. Cool. You're looking at him. If I was older. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> That's it. All right, all right. Going in, coming in now at uh, number four. Very just basic. Hollywood movies. Yeah. That's vague though. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's it's very vague. vague. Yeah, okay. But I guess like, you know, I guess they've always been like Hollywood has always been like an international business, yeah. no? It's yeah. not like it's not like we were just like, all right, you can you can have these movies now. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah, I don't it agree. It does with that. it definitely sounds like we're running out of things that we like about America. Yeah. yeah, why the fuck is that so high on the list? All right, I'll give you number uh three, two, and one mm-hmm. of the Brits' favorite things to come out of America. Number three, Netflix. Strong. Fair. Number two, Barack, o- Barack Obama. Barack. 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 Yeah. Uh, number one, Joe, I know Joe doesn't See, this like is this. Does. this is what he does. This is what he does. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, exactly. He's go. saying he doesn't like this. <laughs> this is what he does. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he does on the show. He goes, well, you're going to hate this, but Martin Luther King. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Joe, why don't you like him? Yeah, why don't you like Martin Luther King? I love Martin Luther King. I optics. said that I like Black Michael Jackson more than White Michael Jackson. <laughs> Let's not forget that. All right. The worst are way better. Oh, I think. Right. Way better. The, 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 the Brit's least favorite things to come out. Number mm-hmm. seven, Kanye West. Wow. We don't hate Kanye that much. I, I, oh, he, he, there's some stuff, but his music. I mean, I don't hate. Listen, his music will always be great. Iconic. Always be yeah, great. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, not all of his music, but a lot of yeah, it. Like, not like the eighty percent of his catalog, eighty-five <laughs> percent of his catalog okay. will always be. Yeah, that poopy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was stupid. That was bad. Yeah. It wasn't. Was it? I'm just saying that stuff. Hit stuff. <laughs> I'm talking like Kanye's workout plan will always be yeah. on in my house. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's because that's when you start. 2008. Music. That's yeah, right. I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Right. that's where it stopped. <laughs> college dropout. That's all he knows. <laughs> He's an icon because college dropout's the only thing I know from him. He won a Grammy. Uh, all right, number uh, six. Again, pretty vague, but least favorite, the Iraq War. <laughs> what? This is not a joke. The six, 
most hated thing to come out of America, according to English people, is the Iraq, Iraq War. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hate Didn't war. we go there too? <laughs> Didn't we go where? Didn't yeah, England, England go? Oh, yeah. Oh, Britain went over yeah, there too, right? Tony I thought Blair. you guys. I was, like, I was yeah. so yeah. confused. Like me and you. Yeah. Yeah. Like damn, you guys are military, dude. Thank you for your service. Man. Tony Blair and yeah. George Bush were like holding hands. They were like, "We're going to do it together." <laughs> <laughs> and George was like, "Absolutely, <laughs> we got this." That's a really that good, good impression. Yeah, that really was a good, good impression. I can do a couple. I can do a little bit. Who else? Ask Kanye West. <laughs> oh, oh, not nice try. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, wait, was it? Oh, the Iraq. So, how war. do you guys feel war. about the Iraq War? I have no opinion. <laughs> yeah, Number we're gonna five. move on. Yeah, Make no. a hard stance <laughs> about war now. Yeah, mm. for all of our listeners and yours too. Here we go. Uh, number five, least favorites. This is one that I was super surprised about: the Kardashians. Now we love. Uh... I feel like the British love the Kardashians. Yeah, I feel we like do everyone, love the Kardashians. Everyone that's not like just like a misogynistic piece of shit. I feel like anyone willing to take this poll, which I'm assuming is just like Karens, yeah. would yeah. say Kardashians. What's yeah. a British Karen? A Karen. A Susan? No, it's a Karen. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, there's, a lot of, there's actually a lot. Of, it's a pretty popular name mm -hmm. in England, isn't it, Karen? I yeah, think it will yeah. die out in about 30 years. No one will be called Karen again. Oh, yeah, no, oh, it's done. Oh, I think it's before that. It's done, yeah. It, that and who like looks Barbara at this? and shit. N n neither of you two have children, right? No. Okay, who looks at a beautiful baby girl and says, Karen? Karen. Like, who does that? Fuck no, a, lot of, a lot of white people back in the day, <laughs> I think. Back in the day, people were still named Karen. It's true. Barbara's a tough one. Barbara Barbara's sucks. Barbara, Barbara, Susan. When I think of Barbara, I'm like, you work at the church. And like yeah, or the bank. Or the bank, yeah, yeah. at the bank. Yeah. Gwyneth. Post office. Gwyneth. Uh, yeah. Gwyneth? That's a tough name. Has Gwyneth. anyone ever met anyone called Gwyneth? Apart from Paltrow. Paltrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a That's tough name. That's honestly the only Gwyneth I know. Yeah, I mean, and we don't know her. I don't know her <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't know her. Um, so, but... You guys are, you like the Kardashians, I assume. Personally, I don't care. I couldn't care, I couldn't care less, less but I can understand the UK love. Again, the if yeah. Kylie Jenner decides to reach out. I was going to say, out. like Kylie yeah. Jenner, we know that. No, this yeah, is yeah. least favorite. This is least favorite. Oh. oh. Yeah. They, what, yeah, you think I, the, the British were like, we love the Iraq war. No, this is the, <laughs> least, this is the least favorite part. Oh, yeah. So I, I would have to disagree. I feel like the British. I disagree. Yeah. There's a lot worse things than the Kardashians. Come yeah. Out of the the, the 10,000 people that were asked are... Obviously. Yeah, the Karens Dude, above. It's so funny that you say that because I was just thinking. I'm like, I have never been even offered a poll in my life. Yeah, like, me neither. Taking polls? Oh, I literally every day in college. They were giving you, you polls? Did polls every day, e surveys and polls and every, every about shit like this. E everything by dude. choice. Everything. Yeah, it was like some were anonymous. Some you like submitted like de your like demographics and shit like that because a lot of it was like people doing it for like research for their like um. fucking like a thesis or a dissertation or something you were the worst of stuff like that though this guy wouldn't have been he wouldn't have even known if he was asked something yeah, whenever we were, yeah when we were in university if anyone like offered him a flyer or stopped him in the street he wouldn't you probably still do now he wouldn't acknowledge them like you've never seen anyone i did do. that on the way here yeah i do that yeah. all the time they could <laughs> the jump in front of him watch. and be like hey can i ask you a few questions and he would literally just keep walking so straight that even if you like bump their shoulder he wouldn't let it break his stride Good. it was impressive yeah. and the rudest thing i would ever seen well that's that's, that's what you're supposed to do yeah. in new york because oh, people enough. are trying to sell you shit like every five seconds i literally on the corner over here this guy like selling like watches or something he's like yo you want to watch and i was like oh, what in what world am I buying a watch on the corner right now? Like, what is that? I actually saw um, a beautiful Asian family buy wallets when we went to get tacos earlier. And oh, I was really? surprised. Yeah, because I was thinking, why do these guys try so hard? No one's buying this shit. And then the, no, yeah, buy yeah, yeah. People the lady was like, this, like, the street over there is known as, like, a popular, like, shopping destination because... It, obviously, you're, you're not buying a real fucking yeah. Gucci bag, but like it looks very similar. Yeah, I'm assuming. yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah, like it does. It. you know, it, twenty bucks. I'll take when it. When I was a kid, it's funny. When I was a kid, um, they used to sell like the DVDs like that of like mm. movies that were currently in theaters. Yeah, Someone yeah, would yeah, go yeah. in, record it, and I, I remember Pokemon the movie two thousand was out. And I'm a fucking that's big... That's a fucking movie, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Pikachu versus Pikachu? You, no, and well, they're just no, slapping no, each no, other? No, no, That's the first movie. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. And they started crying? Yeah. yeah. Up, when Ash turned that, to stone? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fuck! That that's why he was crying. That fucked me up. Yeah, bro. Damn, Honestly, that dude. fucked me up. He's like, Pika! <laughs> <laughs> Pika! And, and Charizard's like... like <laughs> 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 yeah, 
<laughs> you really are good at impressions. Yeah, you, are, you are, man. Well played. No, it was the yeah. one with uh, with like all the legendary birds and Lugia. Oh, like um, Hollow and stuff like that. Yes, right? yes, 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 yes. My favorite. But bird. they they had oh, it, well. and I was like, Mom, please, <laughs> please, please, please. And she was like, All right, fine. Knowing it was a probably piece of shit copy. And as we were doing that, the cops like fucking rolled up. And the, Whoa! Yeah, and the guy like folded up the blanket, took the money, took the blanket, and just took off. Took your money? Yeah. Fire. You never got your DVD. Never. I mean, I got it when it actually came out. Oh, <laughs> but like, I never got it Damn. at that point in time. I was Before weird. we go to number four, I believe, can you do a Denzel Washington impression? Oh, can you? Are you a good yeah, Denzel? I want to see that too. I don't think I can. <laughs> and I'm afraid to, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he's just like, I mean, I, I immediately think of like, uh, like the comedian Jay Farrow, and he's just like oh, he's all, very good at impressions. He's unbelievable, but yeah. it's just like, oh right, <laughs> okay, you know that's it. Mm. That's not terrible. That's all, that's, that's, that's really not it. terrible, dude. You know, mm. it's but all about that, though. Can you guys yeah. do any yeah. other? Imp- yeah, this. You'll be playing basketball and <laughs> Pelican can play. Yeah. <laughs> can you do, do the all right now? Blink. What impressions yeah. can you guys do? You I put me on do, the spot. I can't do impressions. Um, no. no. Yeah, I'm. Hard. I'm not very good at impressions. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can do accents though. You do a good Australian accent. Can you? You were trying to emulate. Who was it? Thor. What's his real name again? Chris Hemsworth. Chris, oh, Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, you can do a good American, Australian I'm accent. from Australia. Um, <laughs> that was not good. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, let it land. Let me land. Let me put. Let What's that fucking place called that always sounds Australian? Perth? Um, nah. Adelaide. Um, Sydney. Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Adelaide. A little bit of kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. All right. It's not bad. I got the, the I gotta cadence. Get it. The cadence gets there. Can you do like Scottish? I am Scottish. Yeah. Hey, hey, Frankie, you want to come to Scotland? That <laughs> got worse. <laughs> no, that's yeah. all right. You were starting, yeah. yeah um, what can I say in Scottish? Scottish. I'm Scottish. Um, <laughs> Have you Glasgow. Been there? Scotland? Yeah, we, we went, went to, to Edinburgh. Edinburgh last year. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, beautiful, it was actually beautiful. beautiful. City. I was assumed that Scotland was just like rainy and shitty and horrible, mm. yeah. filled with heroin addicts. <laughs> huh. That last part but it was, didn't. But it was just. Oh, that was popular. Sunny. Yeah, sorry. Train, have you guys seen Train Spotting? Yes. With you and McGregor? Yeah, that's yeah. why I thought it was full of heroin addicts. Um, that works. But yeah, we went to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is probably what top three most beautiful, beautiful cities beautiful. I've ever seen in my entire life. <clears throat> it looks really cool. Looks like Harry Potter. It does. It's, it's exactly it's where, where it's um, That's where yeah. it's. Um, oh, really? I say base, but that's where it was loosely where, yeah, taken. Yeah, yeah. J.K. Rowling, yeah. like, she wrote Hogwarts Harry Potter in, in Edinburgh mm. and was like, the Hogwarts is based off the castle in Edinburgh that's actually, like, on yeah. the hill and stuff. Wow. There were four houses in, uh, yeah. I'm supposed to go next year for a bachelor party to Scotland. You're going to like it. That'd be sick. Yeah. It's a buff. Very, very relaxing. Because my buddy like loves golf. So like they have the golf course. Oh, they have the best golf courses. Yes, 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 they do. You guys like golf? I wouldn't say I like golf. Stupid shit. I like golf. I I love top golf. But (laughs) I would love to know how to be good at golf. Yeah. Because I think it's a flex when you're older. Really? It's yeah, such, yeah it's such a deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that course. is where the deals are done. Oh, shit. Let's go play some golf, that. man. Let's talk it out. It's because you don't do any deals. I don't do any deals. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's why. I'm saving it until I'm like 35. Then I'll be like, okay, now I'm going to take golf seriously. And just. Mm. Oh. I've played pitch and puff for the first time. It's like only Matt. And, and Joey What's doesn't that? know. Yeah, you played what? It's like 80 yards. Oh, so it's okay. like you just chip and then put. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, That's cool. Okay. Joey doesn't know how to be into something casually. Oh, he me neither. To, he needs to like balls dive deep. in head first. Mm. Yeah, balls deep. Exactly. Mm. So like he'll be like, yeah, we're I'm gonna try boxing, and then he'll like buy like the professional like handmade <laughs> stitched gloves, and like oh one day I was talking to him, and he's like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna like run a marathon in like six months. <laughs> I did that. I was like, I, get the fuck out of here. I listened to David Goggins on a podcast one time. I was like, dude, I'm gonna fucking run a marathon. So I went to the gym the next day and just got on a treadmill and ran. Was it like 26 something miles? What? Yeah, I need died. Just see if I could. Did it, you the whole time run? Nah, not the whole time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was on off. But I, I was going to say, what are you? Yeah, dude, the smell that was coming out of my pores. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I genuinely thought I was going to die. It was scary. Oh, but it sucks. was cool, though. I did it. I've like gotten into those moods, too. Like I, I, There was one time I was at the gym, and I was like on the Stairmaster, and I was like, I wonder how many stairs are in the... Empire like State or something. And I was like, all right. And then I did that. And I was like, I'm never doing that fucking shit again. <laughs> doing 26 miles also on a treadmill is literally serial killer type of shit. Yeah, it was. Were you there from nuts. open to close? Uh, nah, I actually did it in all right time. I did it in like three hours, something like that. There's no way you did it in three hours, dude. That's Are, like three a and professional and a half, maybe? time. Are yeah, you, I was. I did well. Were you, do, you were doing meters. <laughs> That's he uh, did, uh, I did, I did, I did twenty six meters. He did meters. He was like, he was like, wow, that was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it. And I did it well. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. That's not bad, right? Mm. All right. 
That's a different type of accent, though. Who sounds like that? Um, that's like Jason re- Statham. Mm. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, you're yeah. telling me? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, that's I like. See I don't think anyone going. actually sounds like that. Maybe on like EastEnders. Maybe. I Maybe. apologize if it's annoying and you it's not like, annoying, it's not annoying cool. at all. Okay. And you're really like you're starting to get into it and you feel comfortable in it and it's cool. I do. I feel it's comfortable. It's nice to with see. You guys. I feel like we can hug it's and hang nice out. It's nice to see. Yeah, I think we should hang out. I, I think we should definitely hang out. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, number four and number three, kind of related. Least favorite things that Brits have uh, from the U.S. Number four, the NRA. Uh, number three, the obsession with guns. I think we've, we've kind of already touched on These that. These are so carrying answers. Yeah, yeah. I feel really pissed off about whoever answered this poll. Are they, are they just the asking? NR, like, who say, if someone says, oh, what's top 10 least favorite thing? The NRA. I don't even know what the NRA is. It doesn't fucking for. matter to us. National yeah. Rifle Association. Yeah, uh, that yeah, doesn't Yeah, but it doesn't, get, it doesn't make any sense because it, it doesn't, doesn't translate. translate to the UK whatsoever. So yeah. why anyone would be bothered that that came out of the US doesn't make someone any sense. Someone was so someone got their hands on CNN and was so pumped when they heard Anderson Cooper like just talking about the NRA and they were like, "Yeah, me too." <laughs> uh, number 2. Me too. Number 2, George W. Bush. Again, doesn't. I'd say how did I don't uh, like one of their presidents. Oh, uh, well, number 1, uh, least favorite thing that Brits have from the US. Trump. <laughs> oh shit. Donald Trump. I guess that's a good um, one. Now, nah, we actually enjoy, like, Donald Trump. You kind of like. Just for, like, spectacle reasons. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you were, like, it's laughing at us. Yeah. yeah. Laughing yeah. at him yeah. more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then Boris came in and just ruined the whole yeah. joke. Because we had, like, one up on you for a little bit. And we're yeah. like, oh, these guys are fucking idiots with Trump. And then we had Boris Johnson. And it was just, like, That guy looks like he's been in a dark closet Dude. for 10 years. And, you and know then what's they crazy? just let him out. <laughs> he fucks as he well. Does. does he? Yeah, he's got, like, 2,000 kids from, like, Five wives. Yeah, Shut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He balls who, out, dude. He fucks who, ducks. Who has sex yeah. with this dude? People. Yeah. Unfortunate Why? people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the strippers. We already went over that. Prime Minister, I guess. <sighs> That's insane. Power. Yeah, and dude, he was mayor of London for ages, right? I've ever seen in my mm-hmm. life. He was he, mayor of London, too? People yeah, yeah, yeah. And people... Ever, no one likes any politicians anymore. No one's just like, yeah, we like this person. Unless it's like Angela Merkel in like Germany. But like here in the U.S., no matter what you are. Did you expect f- that reference to land on all like, of us? I, I, what did you say? Angler who? <laughs> Angler? I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not going to Wait, what was that? Angela Merkel? You don't know who that is? Go look I, it up. You know I don't know that. You're a piece of shit. You know that. Yeah, who is it? Who is it? You are a piece of shit. He's talking to you. You're a piece of shit. I agree. Who is that? She was like the leader of Germany or something. All right. You don't get to say her name and say leader or of Germany. Oh, I don't know what they call it. Like Chancellor. See? Nice. That's, I knew that. That's right. Good save. <laughs> Angler Merka. No, you idiot. Angela. It's like Angela, but s- said German. Got it. Oh. I Merka. have no idea who that is. It's oh. kind of a dope last name. Yeah, but I don't remember the last politician, apart from Barack Obama, that anyone really enjoyed. <laughs> Love mm. Barry. Barry. We're, Barry. We're on Barry. first name basis. As soon as I nice. sh- saw him shoot a basketball lefty, I was like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Basketball lefty. I forgot he's left handed. We talk yeah, about that all damn. the time. We're like, yo, if you're going to be president of this country, like we s- got to stop electing people who are 1,000 years old. And like, there's got to be like a fitness test to this thing. Yeah. Like you got to oh, be able to agreed. do a couple push-ups, hit a free throw and a half court shot in under a half hour. So. And, and like, you need to have something. I mean, I guess we, we did for a while have something out. Like George W. Bush was like a baseball guy. Clinton was shredding the saxophone and getting head and getting mm. topped off. Thoughts on nice. uh, Joe Biden? I, holy shit! I yeah. think he's dead. Yeah, he, <laughs> like I, I can't I think he's alive. Two sentences. I'll be honest with you though, like how you said, like Trump is like great to watch because of all the whatever. Man, I, usually this would make me upset because I hate seeing like old people like going through stuff. It makes me really upset. If I see an old person just sitting on a bench, I'm like, I could cry right now thinking about that. But when Joe Biden fell off that bike, I was like, "Yeah, it was good." <laughs> that was so oh, awesome God. to me. I was like, "This is great." That was really good. Because there was a bunch of like, and the reason why it was so funny to me because there's so much like Secret Service around, and they're looking at like snipers and people's hands yeah. and like whatever. And this dude just falls off a <laughs> fucking bike. Oh no! And gets hurt. Oh, <laughs> just old as fuck. <laughs> He's just made of dust. I think it's we've crazy. reached. I, I don't know about Joey, but like I've reached a point of just like. I, I can't sit we're here. We're not getting this right. Yeah, like, we're not going to figure it out <laughs> in our lifetime, at least. So, like, let's just make fun of everybody, Fair. you know? Like, what are, what are we going to do? Get pissed about it? Like, no. It's Whoever's funniest, that's it. I, I will say this. Cool. Trump Trump had some one-liners, dude. Oh, dude. This guy was, was going in there, and he was just like, 
Uh, like basically just like calling people just like idiots, bitches, and like, yeah, dick, like small dicks. I love yeah. when he talks about, but like Rosie O'Donnell. It's like she's a pig. I'm like, this guy's on TV. It's like Rosie's a fucking pig. I don't know what to tell you. I'm like That's leader crazy, of the free bro. world <laughs> in the White House. Uh, how do you feel about it? like usually a politician would be like you know um, I think that and he's just like. She's a pig. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, dude. That's yeah. He there's got away a, with murder, man. Literally. There, yeah. There's I a, mean, it's yeah. insane. There's a politician here named Chris Christie. He was okay. the governor of New Jersey. And he's a, a large, plump man. The guy's got a belt, a <laughs> custom made belt, probably. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and people, he, he's, he's corrupt and like, he's a piece of shit. But like, people have been, like, he's been taking shots at Trump lately. And all Twitter is saying is just like, just give Trump just like five minutes. Just respond. <laughs> I'll just cook him. Because yeah. yeah. he'll be like, uh, Chris, Chris, Krispy Kreme, yeah. you fat bastard. Like, <laughs> what a pig. Absolutely torture him. But like, she yeah, he was, this. you know, it was, uh, it was, it's, it's been a couple years, mm. you know. Damn. What are you going to do? Sorry, guys. Well, listen, we appreciate you guys uh, coming all the way over oh, here. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you so much. Had That's so much awesome. fun with you guys. Usually, like, we don't, we don't really do guests and shit because we don't know how well everyone's going to gel or whatever, but. It's like we've known you guys for years. It feels like. Thank you, man. So, you guys have been an absolute pleasure. So. Yeah. Thank and you. Guys seamless. You can go check out the episode we did with them um, on their YouTube channel. You guys could plug your stuff. Correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shits and gigs everywhere. James and Foo had. James and Foo had the British guys from TikTok. Whatever you want to call yeah. it. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Give us a follow. It's like considerably be better than this podcast. Would you I, say? I would say. Yeah. Considerably. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so yeah, check that out. You guys instead. are just better looking as individuals and as a group. I don't know that's true. Less guns on their podcast, probably. Definitely 100%. less. Less, less mass murder talk. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, facts. Hundred percent. Yes, but uh, yeah, that is all. Thank you guys for coming. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.